Delete the default cube and the light and the camera. Press Shift A and add a plane. Rotate it in the Y axis. Place it above the grid. Scale it up in the Y axis. Now open the shading panel. Create a new material. Press Ctrl T to add image texture mapping and texture coordinate nodes. In order for this to work, you need to turn on the Node Wrangler add-on. Go to Edit Preferences add-ons and search for Node Wrangler add-on and turn it on. Now if you press Ctrl T, you will get these three nodes. Now add the image texture. The texture is not applied correctly. In order to fix it, we need to go to the UV editor. Open the UV editor in a new panel. Press tab to go to the edit mode. In the UV editor, press A to select all the UVs. Now rotate it 90 degrees. Adjust it by scaling according to the image. You can now close the panel. We have our image texture applied correctly on our plane. Here we have the same image applied on both sides. We need to apply the second image on the back side. Go to the shading editor. Select these nodes and press shift D to duplicate them. Now give the second image to our duplicated image section node. Press shift A and search for mix shader and place it here. Connect this principled BSDF output to the second socket of the mix shader node. Now what's happening here is both the images are being projected on our plane. Press shift A and search for a geometry node. Connect the back facing to the factor input of the mix shader node. Now we have both images applied on a single plane. Open geometry nodes in a new panel. Create a new geometry node group. Disconnect the existing connection. Add a mesh line node by pressing shift A and also a mesh to points node. The count value here controls the number of items. Now connect the mesh output of this node to mesh input of mesh to points node. Add a new instance on points node. Connect the points output to the points input. Now connect the geometry output of the group input node to the instance input. Connect the instances output to the geometry node. Now we can see our mesh. Now tweak the Z offset value to control the distance between each objects.
increase the count as well tweak the offset value accordingly Now add a new translate instances node. Place it here. Add a combine xyz node and add a random value node. Connect the vector to the translation input. Change the minimum and maximum values to minus 0.05 and plus 0.05. Connect the value output to the Y input of the combined XYZ node. Now our instances are randomly displaced in Y direction. Similarly, we need to give a random rotation to our instances. To do that, let's add a rotate instances node. You can place it before or after the translate instances node. The order doesn't matter. Let's duplicate the random value and combine XYZ nodes. Connect the vector output to the rotation input. Here change the minimum and maximum values to minus 0.02 and plus 0.02. Duplicate the random value node again and connect it to the Z input. And this is how you can create a stack of cache in Blender. You can take a screenshot of the node setup. And finally, create a plane and texture it. Add a good HDRI image for lighting. 